You know those picture-perfect moments? The ones you imagine in your head? Visualizing something you've hoped for? Something you've worked hard to make happen? Well, this is Alice Bernard. And today she is certain that her picture-perfect moment will come true. For the past five years, Boy, no. Alice has been a devoted employee of Dr. Jean Laughlin, an expert in the field of synthetic biology. Good morning, Dr. Laughlin. Good morning, Alice. Alice arrived early for work every day. She always finished her work ahead of schedule. Here you go, Dr. Laughlin. Thank you, Alice. She put in extra hours. And unlike her other co-workers, <laughs> Alice was laser focused. Recently, Dr. Laughlin was awarded a large research grant from the National Institutes of Health. A grant applied for based on preliminary data gathered by Alice and her colleague, Elliot Castle. Good morning. Good morning. Hello. Sorry, that was so loud. Did I make you stop what you were doing? <laughs> Good morning. Oh Today, gosh, Dr. Laughlin would name Alice yeah. head of the new research team. She would be the first author on the paper, and the paper would undoubtedly be published in Global Science. Alice knew she was the obvious choice for the job. Sorry about that. Traffic was crazy, right? Guys, guys. Glad we can uh, Laughlin's announcing who gets the big project. Oh, right. That's today. Oh, wow. I'm so glad I made it in time. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> Alice was ready for Picture Perfect. I am pleased to announce that this project goes to Elliot Castle. <laughs> we need a champion for this project. Someone who's not only willing to do the late nights and extra hours, but someone like Elliot, whose eloquence and energy could fulfill the multi-dimensional demands of this leadership role. Yeah. Alice was furious, but more than that, Alice was envious. She didn't have what Elliot had, the personality, the beauty, the friends. Despite her desire to have all of that, her career had become how she defined herself. Now Elliot had that too. All the success, none of the sacrifice. I laid all the groundwork for this project, gathered all the preliminary data for that grant. It should be mine. You didn't get it. My work carried the team, Steve. There's no way Elliot could have done all that on her own. She's always leaving early and coming in late, but no, that doesn't matter. Why does she get nice to have job. everything, Steve? I know Dr. Laughlin values your contribution. What does that even mean? Does that get me a new title? Does that get me published in, in global science? All the things Elliot's gonna get? You should see her, Steve. She can talk to anyone. Just doles up to them and they love her immediately. Good work. Excited for you. Why can't I be like that? Why can't I have what she has? Well, you have me. We can talk about this tonight. Figure out what your options are. I love you. Okay, love you too. Bye.
Maybe we should talk more about this later. Congratulations. Okay. You know, it's funny, Elliot. I remember already hey, nice talking job. about this. I know you... Good work. Excited for you. I know you expressed some concern about me working more hours. I expressed no interest in being part of a marriage that gives me nothing. I don't see it like that, Kevin. I, I deserve to have your time and attention now. What am I supposed to do then, huh? Just let you devote all your time to the lab and none of it to me? It wouldn't be like that. No, Elliot. It's gonna be like this. Your career or me. And if it doesn't seem like a simple choice, then you've got something seriously wrong with you. Please, Kevin, please, can we just talk this through at home and, you know, figure it out together? Kevin? This is not what I signed up for. I'm done talking. I'm done listening. In fact, Elliot, I'm just done. No, Kevin, please. Kevin? I guess picture perfect is all in how you see the picture. Thank you.